guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co and today's video is going to be so fun. I've got some neat organization projects that you can do with your Cricut. We are going to make some really neat organizer bins for my kids artwork. We're also going to be making these plastic closet dividers and then last we'll be making this 3D letter money bank. This is such a neat project so I hope you guys enjoy all of these projects. We'll go ahead and start with our first one. For this first project, I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker 3 along with the single or double scoring wheel. I'm also going to be using the fine point blade to do all of my cutting. I'm also going to be using some of these hanging file folders and some sticker paper. I'm using the Cricut printable vinyl, but plain sticker paper will do along with some white adhesive vinyl. And then I just found this hanging file folder box that I had had in storage, but you can get these at Walmart or Amazon. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go into Cricut Design Space and open up a new project because I'm gonna go ahead and create the labels that are going to go on our file folders. So I'm gonna go into Images and then just type in Tabs. And Cricut does have a few images that are gonna work, but I'm gonna use this one here and just add that to the canvas. And I'm gonna rotate it to 70 to kind of get a better view of what I'm doing here. So now this one is comes in at 3.94 inches. I'm going to resize that about 2.75 inches. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create another side to this. So this is gonna be the front side, but I'm making this out of sticker paper. So I want these to fold over onto themselves to stick to my file folder. So I'm just gonna hit Control D and duplicate that and then I'm going to flip it vertical. Now I want to align these two by dragging this second one down just touching the top of my first one because I'm going to weld these together and then I'm going to select both images and align them to the left side. Now that everything is aligned I'm going to go to combine and weld those two together and now I have a double sided label. I also want a score line in the middle to make this easier to fold. So I'm going to go to shapes and select the score line. I'm also going to rotate it 90 degrees to get a straight horizontal line. And then I'm just going to center it over that indention on my label. And after I have that, I'm going to select both images and attach those together. You can also change the color of this label. I'm just gonna leave mine because I'm not worried about the color. I know what I'm going to be cutting. So I went a little extra here and created labels that actually go inside of this little box, but you can actually create your text directly onto this label and then just print and cut that out. But I'm gonna go ahead up here to shapes and create another label to go on top of this first label. And I'm just gonna resize it down to about the width to fit on the purple label. So I want it about there and I also want these to be white when I print then cut. I went ahead and duplicated six copies of the labels. That's the number that I'm gonna need. And I'm now I'm going to create some text to go on those little white labels. I'm using a font called Close to My Heart and I'm just resizing that text down to fit on that little white label. You want to make sure to change your text to print then cut instead of cut. And now I'm just aligning my text to the center of my label and once I have all of my labels created you want to go ahead and select your label and text and flatten your text to your white label. This is going to keep Cricut from cutting out the letters in your text, it's only going to cut the shape of your label. Now I'm ready to make the project. I'm going to be using a mat. I'm also going to go ahead and print this out on some sticker paper. So I'm just going to hit continue and send this to my printer. I am going to turn off the bleed. I don't need bleed on this project. I am going to use my system dialog and go ahead and send these to my printer. And you can see how this printed out with the registration marks. So I'm just going to place that on my mat, load it into my Cricut and let Cricut read those registration marks. I'm also going to be using the printable vinyl material setting in design space to cut these out. 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and flip that same piece of sticker paper over to cut out the second part of these labels. So now I'm on mat number two. I'm going to first move these labels over here down to fit on my eight and a half by 11 piece of sticker paper that I have and hit continue. I'm using the printable vinyl setting again and for this portion of your cutting you're going to need your single scoring blade. Now you can edit your tools and use the scoring stylus for this if you wish to do that or if you don't have a single scoring wheel. And after your machine is finished scoring those fold lines you'll then install your fine point blade to finish cutting. Now everything's ready to assemble. I'm just gonna stick these smaller labels on top of the larger ones, and I'm just weeding out the larger ones to make these a little bit easier to see. And you can see how these cut out perfectly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick my little labels on there, and then we will lay them out and stick them on our folders. I just peeled back half of the backing, placed the first half on, and then just carefully folded it back over on top of itself. The little fold lines you created with your scoring wheel do help to keep these lined up. Now for the next part of this project, I'm going to create a decal to go on the front of my box. I just went into Cricut's images and typed in wreath. And from there, I found this wreath that I went ahead and added to my canvas. I went ahead and sized mine up to about seven inches. And I did change the color to white. I will be using white vinyl. Now this C I created, it is called Anna's Fancy Lettering. That is the font I used. It's a Cricut font. And I just drug that up to fit inside my wreath. Then I selected both images and attached them to the mat so that they would cut out together. Now you're ready to make it. I'm just using the premium vinyl setting for this and a fine point blade. Something else you are going to need for this project is some transfer tape. You can use any brand will work for this. I'm using a brand called R-Tape. I believe I get it from either US Cutter or Heat Transfer Warehouse. So this is the finished project. This I am so happy with. I've already placed all of my kids' artwork and their school papers in here and they are tucked away neatly now um, instead of just laying out in a bin. These are organized, but you can customize this project to fit your needs however you need. You can use this for taxes. You can use this for recipes, but this is a super functional organization project. 
For our next project, we're going to be making these easy closet dividers. I'm going to be using some sticker paper and some craft plastic from Amazon. I'm also going to have a free link to a file that you guys can use for this project. Okay, so we're back in Design Space and I am going to upload the pattern for these closet dividers and I'll leave a link to this file for you in the description. So it'll be a free file that you can use to upload to create these, but I'm just going to add that to the canvas. For this divider, when it comes in design space, I resized mine down to a height of seven and a half inches, but there'll be two images and you can just ungroup those. The back image, which is the blacker image, is going to be your clear hanger. Um, this is what you're gonna cut your plastic out of. And then I created this smaller inset to create your stickers. For these stickers, I made sure and changed this shape to print then cut. And then I went into color and changed that to pattern to fill this image with a pattern that I already had uploaded. You can also add some images from Cricut's stock to better fit whatever theme you're going with here. I added some sweaters and a little pocket, some dresses and shirts to fit the name of the dividers. I also created some text to go at the top of the divider. I changed that to print then cut and also used the curve feature to get it to fit around the top of the curve of my divider. You can resize this, change the letter spacing and the color. And I also created an offset that was 0 0.04 inches that I'm going to place behind this text just to make it stand out a little bit more. And I'm gonna change the color of that offset to white. And this font that I'm using is DTC Summer Solstice by Cricut. You do wanna select your entire image and flatten that to keep Cricut from just cutting out your text. And now you're ready to send this to your Cricut machine. I moved some of these images so that I could fit two of these on a sheet and that is actually how I printed mine out. I did leave the bleed on with these also just to create a little border that Cricut could cut around to make sure that these printed out perfectly. Now you're gonna be ready to cut out your plastic. I did fit all four dividers on one sheet of plastic and I'm gonna be using the plastic packaging setting in Cricut Design Space that seemed to work perfectly. It does say you need a deep point blade but I went ahead and used my fine point blade and that seemed to work just fine. And I am using a strong grip mat for this. You will need something strong to hold onto that plastic as your machine is cutting this out. Next, all you have to do is remove your print and cut stickers and place them on your plastic hanger. I lined mine up at the bottom and just used a squeegee to kind of squeeze out the bubbles as I went along the hanger. And at the top, I just went ahead and removed the entire piece, held it up with my fingers as I kind of squeegeed it out around that little um, circle area. But these turned out so cute for my daughter's room but you can definitely customize these to organize any closet in your home. These are a great organization project. The next project is a 3D letter money bank. I'm gonna be using some cardstock, some deluxe paper by Cricut, and also some more of that craft plastic. If you can find 24 inch long cardstock, it works great for this project. To set up this project in Design Space, I just searched for 3D letters. I typed in 3D letter C, and it popped up in Community Projects. This is actually a project by the Lori Whitlock collection and she has all the alphabet letters available so you can use whatever letter that you want to. I inserted that into my canvas and the first thing I wanted to do was resize this. So I just drew a box that was 12 inches and I kept my project grouped together and just resized the entire project so that my C just fit under that 12 inch mark. I wanted to get the most I could out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. 
Now I'm just rearranging my project. This gray is going to be my clear front and this white C is going to be my back. I'm not gonna need these um, green ones, but I'll show you what I do with those in a second. And then I drew another box. I'm taking off the top edge of these smaller pieces because this is gonna be the border when I go to place that clear front, I want it just under the border. I don't want any of this white to be showing. So I just unattached those score marks from those pieces and sliced out just enough to where the top edge of that is about a quarter of an inch. I'm selecting the brown piece in the gray box and then just going down to the corner and hitting slice to slice those out. After you do this, you want to make sure and go back and attach your score lines to your pieces. After I had all of those done, I wanted to create another border to go on the front that's actually going to be my decorative border. So I took one of those smaller C's and centered it to the larger C to create that border. And you want to select both of those images and slice that out to create your border. So now I have all of the pieces that I need. I can get rid of those green C's and now I'm gonna type in a name that I want to go on the front of this letter. I selected a script font. I believe I went in and searched under um, cursive fonts in Design Space, but I found this one, I believe it's called Analog Script. It's a good thick script that works well for this project. And you can see here how it's gonna kinda come together I also created a offset around this letter. You wanna make sure all your letters in your text are welded together um, when you cut this out so that your letters cut out as one. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use like a green um, offset to go behind this, this name. Also went and changed everything to white that I was gonna be cutting out of white cardstock. And I'm gonna be using my Cricut mat to do this. You can see how that 24 inch cardstock is going to be handy when cutting out some of these pieces. So now I have all of my mats ready to go. I did have to purchase this project um, even if you have Cricut access, but it was only $1.79, so I thought that was worth it. I am gonna be using the scoring stylus to score all of those fold lines, so I'm just inserting that into clamp A. If you wanna use your scoring wheel, that will work fine for this project too. If you cannot find 24 inch cardstock, you can definitely tape two 12 by 12s together. I used the medium cardstock setting in Design Space when cutting out all of the cardstock projects. And again, I used that plastic packaging setting when I went to cut out the clear top for the letter. Now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I'm ready to assemble my project. Now this did take a little bit of time, so just be patient with this project, especially if you are a beginner. But I did find that using my squeegee to fold on those score lines helped tremendously. And I made sure that the longer tabs were going to the back of my project and the shorter tabs that we sliced off were gonna to go to the front of the project. So. I'm just gonna go through here and fold along all of the score lines. And I'm gonna be using just some craft glue to attach all of these pieces. I have found that if you have some double-sided tape, that would probably work a little bit better than the glue because you're gonna spend a little bit of time waiting for your glue to dry as you're assembling this project. If you have some double-sided tape, you're just gonna be able to stick it and go on. But if you have some patience, then this glue is gonna work fine. So I'm just gonna connect all of the tabs and you can use your cutout C to kind of help you see how this is going to go. That's what I used as kind of my guide. So after I had all of my letter closed in and assembled, I'm just gonna go through and start attaching my back. And that's kind of how I got the shape of the letter was I went ahead and placed the back down and then just started gluing the sides along that backing.
Now you'll see me making a couple little extra slits. I did find that this project was missing two fold lines. So I had to go back in with my scissors and just create some little slits to give this some room to fold along those edges. But this um, hardly took any time at all. And after I got that finished, it turned out perfect. Now at the top, I'm going to add a little cut for placing your money inside of this. You can definitely add this in design space. You can add a little square and slice it out of the top part, but I wasn't sure at the time which part was going to be my top. So that's why I did this manually, but you can go back in there now that you know the top of the C, if you want to, uh, you can slice that out for your project. The last thing I did was add my name cut out and I wanted some dimension um, added to this name. So I'm using these little foam adhesive dots that I got from Amazon and I just placed it all over the back of these cutouts and it made it stand out just a little bit from the project. So it gave it some depth and dimension and I thought that worked really great for the name part. This was definitely my favorite project. I'm already coming up with ideas to make more of these. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this project. I hope you enjoyed all of these projects. Got some ideas for organization projects that you can actually use and make with your Cricut machine. If you have any comments, please leave them down below and I will try to answer any questions that you guys have about any of these projects. Definitely subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of all kinds of videos that I upload just like this. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video.